Most likely we have some snow returns to the areas we head toward tonight, even continuing all the way through Saturday night. Start to take a look at expected snowfall across the western portion of the area. You can see about 6 to 12 inches across southwest Yellowstone down toward the uh, Tetons. A little bit less in the valleys. We could even have a little bit of rain at the onset in the valleys this evening as there will be some warmer air in place before the cold front passes through. Now it'll drop the snow levels back down to the uh, valley floors. And east of the divide, now most of these areas will be okay through Friday into Friday evening. However, after midnight on Friday, and especially into Saturday, it's where the heaviest snow will fall. Again, anywhere from, say, about a Rock Springs to Lander to Casper line is where the heaviest snow will fall, about three to six inches again. Locally higher amounts of some banding sets up. Least snow across the Bighorn Basin, maybe up to an inch there. A lot of areas might not see anything out of this. And uh, the worst travel conditions further south, if you're traveling down toward Colorado, looks like the worst conditions will be there. And storm impacts. Again, snow moving into the west tonight, especially late tonight into Friday morning. Between about 3 a.m. and 9 a.m., I think is when the heaviest snow will follow that area. And then it spreads east of the divide Friday night, especially after midnight, and continuing into Saturday, even Saturday night, before it ends on Sunday. As far as travel, worst conditions Friday morning commute probably going over Teton Pass around the Jackson Valley. Most of the areas east of the divide should be okay through about Friday evening. And Friday night, especially into Saturday, Saturday night, roads will become slick and snow covered, including I-80, I-25, as well as South Pass. You can see our resources there for road conditions, weather, as well as webcams by route. Be safe, everybody. Have a good day.